What's the quickest way of creating a circle of duplication in Affinity Photo? I'll show you how to do it. You can select brush strokes, shapes, anything, and you can apply a transformation to it. So I'm just going to create a circle. And with that, what you can then do, just go up here to the Move tool. With the Move tool selected, just go here. Make certain this Enable Transform Origin is set on, and you'll see this little point here. And you can drag that across to a different position. What you can then do, press return or enter on the keyboard, and then go here to rotation. So rotation, just gonna set it to a, a value, say 20, and you can see then it gets rotated. You can also set duplicate on, and number of copies, and just turn around and say, maybe make it 17, and there you have a lovely circle design very quickly. You can also just go here, and you can move that around and reposition it and place it there, or maybe there, and click OK. Once you've done that, you'll notice what you get. You get lots and lots of layers. Well, you can simply group them all together, and like that, just drag over them all, right click, and then group. And they're all grouped into a single design. There's a few other things you can do as well. So let's just remove those. Just go here, and I'm gonna this time go with a diamond. So diamond, just create something like that. And now I can do exactly the same. You notice I've got this still on. But before I use this diamond, I can convert it to a curve. And the reason for that is that I can manipulate the nodes. So just convert to curves. And now I can manipulate that. But also what I can do, I can go up to layer and duplicate linked. Just do that very quick duplicate link. It just places it on top of the existing shape. Then again, Go over here, select the Move tool. Again, make certain this Enable is on, and you can reposition this. And then, with that, I can make that circle around there. So, press Return or Enter again, and you get this up. And then, go here to Duplicate, set a number of copies, and Rotation, and you can see then, you get this lovely circle design very quickly around that central point. Maybe I'm gonna go with that, and then, click OK. But the great thing about this, now they're all duplicate linked. And because it's a node shape you can modify, just go over here, select the node tool, and you can see then you've got that, and you can drag out there, and you can then resize it. And all of those shapes will also just change in exactly the same way. They need to be converted to this curve. If you don't do that and just use it as a shape and you can't manipulate this node. So you can just create all kinds of unique designs that way. You can also go here, click effects, and then go maybe for 3D. So they all end up with 3D. Also click here and then give an outer shadow and close. And again, you can manipulate this design in many other ways simply by just clicking here and let's still change as you can change the colors, etc. What you can also do you can do the same with brushes. So let's just remove that now. Let's just remove these layers. And then just go here to the paintbrush tool. Paintbrush tool, I'm just gonna use a very basic brush, anything, comic ink pen. Just apply it. And with that design, I can now duplicate that. But before I do it, what I need to do, go over here to the move tool, go up here to layer and duplicate linked again. Just select that. And then simply move this across again, this central point. Key thing is that's turned on, and you can see now it's there. Move tool selected, press return or enter, and you get this panel up again. And again, just go here to duplicate, so make certain duplicate is set. Number of copies, you can increase that, and also rotation, so you can rotate it around that central point. And of course, you can increase that, maybe number of copies, 24, change the rotation, and so on create a variety of different designs. And I'm gonna go with that and click OK. But now what you can do, you can manipulate that, but you notice what happens. Doesn't work. Unfortunately, that duplicate link doesn't work on transforms like scale and rotation. But what you can do is you can manipulate the design itself. So just going over here again to the paintbrush tool and select that. And now you can see you can simply add additional brushstrokes to that design and create 
a variety of different designs that way. But also, if you want to actually manipulate the position and modify it, you can also go over here to Filters and down to Distort, maybe use Twirl. With Twirl set, you can see then your angle, and you can change that. Now you'll notice that some of them don't change. It does seem to be an odd bug there. However, as soon as you click Apply, you'll notice they all change. And you can apply them again, so Filters, Repeat Twirl, and you can see what happens. It's actually applying it to every single one of those objects. Only needs to be one selected. Go to the Tools panel, make certain that the Move tool is selected, and select one of the layers, say this one. And then go to Filters, and Distort, and Deform. And in there, simply add some pins. And then you can manipulate this, and you can drag this around, maybe change that, push it into the center, and then click Apply and they will all go in exactly the same way. And exactly the same as before, you can always go over here to Effects, click there, and maybe go for Outer Shadow, change Radius, change Offset, Intensity, and also go maybe for Color Overlay, click here, go for Red, and then Close. And that's how to quickly duplicate around a central point any design. Could be images, could be text, much, much more. If you've been following some of my recent videos, please check those out about how to create some really weird brushes. You can also use those with this circulation as well. Simply just go over here, select one of the brushes. Please check out those videos for how to create these. Make sure you've got the paintbrush tool selected and then set the size. I'm gonna go for something fairly small, but something like 80, and then just apply it. And you can see you create a design like that. Well, that design can also be duplicated. So go here, Move Tool, go to Layer, and just down here to Duplicate Linked again, so you can create a duplicate link for there. Just go to Layers, you can see it's Duplicate Link there. Move Tool selected, press Return or Enter, and it will bring this panel up. Exactly the same as before, you can go Number Duplicate, Number of Copies, say 10 or 12, and then you can move that around. But you can also, of course, simply use this transform origin point and just move it over there and it goes around that central point. And you can reposition that, maybe put it there instead or further away. But also you can then increase the rotation. Let's just do that all the way around. Maybe a number of copies and go, whoops, just too far. And you've got something like that. And then click OK. Exactly the same as before, you've now got all these duplicate links. And you can manipulate this. So filters, go to distort and deform. As long as you've got the move tool selected, always handy, go there. And you can add some bins and you can distort this design. And then you can see as you do that, you can drag this out, maybe drag that to the center or drag it that way and create really weird and wonderful designs like that and click apply. And that's applied all the way around. Also, because it's still that same layer selected, Go to the brush tool and you can then just go over here and you can add additional entries there. And you can see each one will be added to that design. So you can create very quick symmetrical circular designs. You can also do the same with text. So just go over here, artistic text tool. Let's just create the word text, something like that. Could be anything, of course. With that, you can drag that out. Again, make certain you've got this selected, so you've got this here, that little central point, you can drag that over. What you can then do, exactly the same, simply press return or enter on the keyboard, make certain the move tool is selected, and this will pop up. And then you go over here, rotation, just change rotation, so maybe three or four, then duplicates, number of copies, and you can see then it creates that. And of course you can always reduce it down, maybe decrease that, change the rotation, maybe to six, decrease that again, and so on. You can create a variety of different circular designs using text. And then click OK. Now in this case, it's just normal text, but you can do exactly the same as before. You can use the link duplicate as well. So let's just go back. With this design, simply just duplicate it. So layer and duplicate linked. So that's become a duplicate link. Again, now go to the Move tool, press Return or Enter, and then you go to Rotation. So Rotation, let's say 10. And your duplicates, 
Let's just increase that so it goes all the way around there. Now, you'll notice there is often a bit of a glitch here. It doesn't seem to duplicate all of them, so click OK. But as soon as you click OK, it does. Not certain why that doesn't do it. However, exactly the same as before, you can now go over here, select the artistic text tool again, and select obviously one text here. So you decide, you know what? I didn't really mean text. I meant the word type. So you can just put the word type instead. Or maybe decide, terrible, anything. And of course, what you can also do is you can select those, maybe change the color, go for that, and they will all change. Or maybe go for swatches, click here, and they will again change there. All will change soon because of this duplicate linked. I say you throw it here, if you try and resize it, that doesn't work. But what you can do is you can simply select one and make certain you change the font size. That's another great way. And you can turn around and say, well, I want actually say 30 or something like that. A whole load of other options, of course, available. Just go to window and down here to text and you've got character, etc. So you can manipulate all these using this duplicate link feature. And it's all around a central point. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.